Uh, the apologies that uh, I'm not with you today. However, we have the next best thing, eCanon, to help you out. So enjoy the uh, YouTube video, and uh, I'll see you after October half term. So what I'd like you to do today, uh, a practice, some questions, maybe from chapter 8, uh, read chapter 9, make sure you've learned all the symbols for the, the electronic symbols that we have to learn, uh, look through V equals WQ, so voltage or potential difference equals work done times charge, and Q equals IT, charge equals current times time. Also look through some of the stuff we've been doing more recently, so V equals I times R, voltage or potential difference equals current times resistance. Recap Owen's Law, look through uh, the book for temperature and resistance graphs, and also learn the other graphs shapes as well, so that includes um, normal resistors, LDRs, uh, filament lamps which we've, which we've done, and diodes. Whilst I mentioned diodes, uh, don't forget, after half term we'll be looking to do a PAG. Probably not the first lesson, but be prepared nonetheless, please. The bit that I want to teach you uh, now, though, is just going through the electron gun stuff. And that's on page 139 of the book. So we use electron guns mainly to uh, find how fast electrons can move. And electrons um, can ionise particles by adding or removing electrons from atoms. Um, what, when we do this, what we do is we look at something called an electron volt, uh, and we compare that to kinetic energy. So more on that later. Before we start looking at the, 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 uh, the maths behind it, I just want to recap to you, uh, well, it's probably the first time, how uh, an electron gun really works. So we've got a vacuum in this, this whole tube. There's a much better diagram uh, on the page in the book, so 139. This area over here, um, we've got a cathode just here, and somewhere around here we've got an anode. So cathode, the, the way I remember cathode is, uh, I really don't like cats, so any thought of a cat is negative. So this thing here is a negative thing, it's a cathode, C-A-T, hence the cat. Now what happens is, it, this area here gets heated up, so just like in a, in a lamp, in a normal filament lamp, you, you put electricity through it and it might glow so in a normal bulb. However, if it, bulbs, uh, if it glows hot enough, then what happens is some electrons are then able to, to be free and they'll leave. Now, because we've got an anode just here, a positive uh, place, the electrons get attracted towards that. And there's a hole about there, which then allows the electron to pass straight through. Now what we're most interested in is this area just here. The distance that it's gone between the cathode and the anode. Because we know it's an electron and we know electrons have a negative charge. So because they have a negative charge they get attracted towards the positive plate. Now, because we know the charge of the electron, which we've mentioned before, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, because it's an electron it's minus, but we tend to just use the, the true value, and we know the voltage difference between the anode and the cathode. So what we get is a work done. Now work done is when a charge moves through a voltage. And because we've done work done, what we do is, we, well, we know the electrons sped up. And another form of work done, measured in joules, is kinetic energy. So the work done on the electron is E multiplied by V, where E is the elementary charge, and the voltage uh, is, as I've just said. And then we put that equals to a half times mass times velocity squared, so the kinetic energy equation. So by increasing the voltage or increasing the attraction of the electron to the positive plate, we're then going to be making the speed greater. We assume 
that the mass of the electron won't change. And then from that we can rearrange to find V. One thing to note, voltage or potential difference is capital V, velocity is little v. Don't get confused. Some of you may wish to, to skip over this. Um, but I'm just going to rearrange that equation. EV equals half mv squared. So if we want to find little v by itself, I would suggest the first thing to do is multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So that means we get 2 EV equals 1 mv squared. So we've multiplied that by 2. And then we want m by itself. So we'll divide both sides by m. So we then get 2 EV over m, and that equals little v squared. And then, of course, to get v by itself, we now need to square root, and then I can erase that to compensate. So that then tells us how fast this electron can move. It depends on the charge of the electron, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, the voltage that the electron is accelerating through, so that distance just there, and then divided by the mass, which of course of the electron would not change. That's, well, that would be given to you in an exam, but for reference, 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. Don't forget, when you're doing these questions, you must always remember a unit, so velocity, ms, to the minus 1. So just to emphasise, absolutely sorry that uh, not here with you today, but do your absolute best. I shall try and be available um, via email over uh, half term should you need to get in contact. And uh, good luck.